Nah, I'm kidding. It's dry. I'm not still sitting here. It's a new day, and there's more work to be done on the staircase. I've got the top of the railing on, but I just decided I'm gonna screw it down as well. I talked earlier the other day about the timber posts. I want to stop them twisting any possibility of that. So when I actually put the dowel in, so those plugs, I offset them from the center. So now I put a screw down the center of each post. Of course, pre-drilled nice and uh, carefully so that I don't split the post. And they seem to have had two effects. One, the posts don't twist anymore. And two, the top of the railing has really been pulled down onto the top of all those posts. So I still need to do a little bit of clay painting here. I will start putting plugs in, but I think this end result is going to be strong and look okay. I also mentioned yesterday that I bought a Forstner and plug cutter set. Uh, so the Forstner I've been using, and that one cuts a nice hole where you can then drill the screw into. But this one, this is the plug cutter. I've never used one of these before. Let's see how this goes. Well, that seemed to work well. The plug cutter with the big drill very easy to use, use it with confidence, uh, line up and go. Let's see how this goes. I, I built this stair rail out of LVL, so laminated veneer lumber. Uh, so it's, it's like a giant plywood. And you can see the layers in the plug. But let's see how that goes when plugging the hole. Uh, I really need to try and, well, let's just try and see. That looks pretty good. I think this should work. I just need to go ahead, put a little glue, push one in, sand it off, and let's see what the final product looks like. I don't expect it to look perfect, like there is no hole there. I'm happy with the plug to be slightly visible, but it might vanish once I paint it, but it's not a problem because the little circle at the center of each post, it doesn't look unattractive. It's quite symmetrical, I did that on purpose, so it's not a problem. I think I'll move on and let's see what the final result looks like. Plugs went in really well, a little bit of glue, a little bit of hammering, just chiseled the top off and I've left a little bit exposed. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna sand down the entire handrail once it is dry, let the wood glue dry. But while I'm on a roll, feeling confident, I'm gonna plug up the posts. All plugged up. I need to let that dry now. However, the top of the handrail, it's probably dry enough I could start sanding it down. I'll have a go at that. I'm extremely happy with this. I'm even a little surprised how neat the finish is. I think if I was just gonna lacquer this with some clear sort of varnish or lacquer or something like that, I would be very happy. But I'm actually gonna paint it white. You probably won't even notice these plugs at all once it's painted. I'll do that now. This looks really good. Very happy with the final result. It's done. Got to do these as well. Quite confident this is going to look as good as the top of the handrail. The finish so far looks good. I've just mixed up some more white clay paint. It'll soak for about half an hour and then I'll be able to touch this up and then it'll also be done. But right now I need to turn my attention to the other side of the stairwell. I'm going to cut up another piece of the birch plywood and put it in place. This one will be a little bit harder. It'll be a little bit of a puzzle. I'll need to cut a couple of slots where the stair stringers are. So one step at a time, I'll go and cut the plywood. 
I've got the piece of birch plywood cut out, okay? It looks all right, it fits. What I really need to do is cut into that piece of timber to accommodate for these two stringers. So rather than just cutting straight into the final piece, I'll take a piece of scrap and I'll create myself a template. This will be the safer way to make sure it actually works. Here is my template. It actually cut up quite well. Let me show you the secret here. So on the front, nothing much to look at, but on the back, ah, what I've done is I've routed out a little section here and that is to allow the bracket and the bolt heads to fit behind the piece of timber, but the birch plywood is still flush up against the edge of the stairwell. Let's put it in place, make sure it works. Yes, it works. Look at that. Very nice, that's gonna give me a flush finish. I now need to use that template and cut the big piece of timber. Fingers crossed, I'll be back in a moment. <sighs> it's not gonna fit. Okay, it probably will. I just need to take uh, a couple of mil off that end. I'll try this again in a moment. Take two. Fits well, looks nice. I'll work out where these posts are going to go for the next part of the handrail, and then I will screw it home so that the screws are behind the post. But th this looks good. Good achievement today. The staircase, it's uh, empty again, <laughs> but the good news is all the steps have been painted. You only did a whole bunch of them, I just did a couple now, and the construction of the staircase, like the actual steps being permanently fixed into place, I think I might be able to start on that tomorrow. So join me as I try to finish building this staircase that's taken forever. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.